In this video, I'll be using PowerShell to install Google Chrome extensions. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the PowerShell snippet that I will be using to deploy Google Chrome extensions, and how it works is pretty simple. Basically, it creates a list of the extensions that we want to install in Windows registry, and then Google Chrome looks at that list and installs the extensions for us. And now I will show you how it works and for that I will click on the button right here to copy the snippet. Then I will go to my VMware workstation because I will be deploying the extensions on this virtual machine. And here first I will open PowerShell ISC. I will run it as administrator. And let's insert the snippet here. And for the snippet to work, we need to fill the values for this variable. Basically here we need to make a list of extensions that we want to install. And for that once again I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this Chrome Web Store link. I will right click on it, I will copy the link address and I will go back to my virtual machine. I will open Chrome, insert the link here and let's press enter. And it brings us to the Chrome Web Store where we can download the extensions. And here we need the IDs for the extensions that I will be installing. So let's pick a few of them. Let's do Google Translate, let's do Gmail Notifier, and let's do TripAdvisor. And I will also show you that currently in my Chrome, I only have a single extension, the Google Docs offline one. Anyways, let's close everything here. Now that we have the three extensions opened, the only thing that we need from here is the extension ID and we can find it in the URL right here. So it's in the end of the URL. I will select it, right click on it, copy it, go back to my snippet, and I will insert the value right here. Now for the second extension, I will add comma, add quotes. Then I will go back to the other extension. Once again, I will copy the ID, right click, copy, back to the snippet, insert the value here, another comma, more quotes and let's do the TripAdvisor one now. So once again, let's click on select the ID, copy it, go back and insert the ID here. And let's make it maybe a little more pretty. And that's basically it. Now we can run the PowerShell snippet and let's see what's going to happen. So I'll click on this green button. It executes. It seems that it executed successfully. And now if I close Chrome, open it again, let's go to the extension. And here we can see that we have all the extensions that we wanted. And that's basically it. And one important bit of information that you should know here is that we have these icons on the extensions. And if I hover over them, it says that added by policy. And that means that we are using group policy functionality to add these extensions. And that means that the user will not be able to remove the extensions from Google Chrome interface. As you can see, all the buttons right here for disabling the extensions are grayed out. And also we don't have the remove button that we have on this extension. And that means that to remove the extensions that we deployed like this, we would need to go to the Windows registry and remove the registry entries. And now I will show you how to do that. And for that, I will go to my start menu, type in regedit. I will run registry editor as administrator. Then let's go to local machine software policy here we have the google key i will go inside of it and we have the chrome key and here we have the extensions and as you can see here we have the list of the extensions that we want to deploy and for example i will remove one of them and now let's close chrome let's open it again let's go to extensions and as you can see one of the extensions was removed and that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.